Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can create assignments and then also grade those assignments in Microsoft Teams. As full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. My HR department requires me to say that. Now, if you're using Microsoft Teams to run your class, being able to create assignments and also to grade those assignments is pretty nice to have. And today I'm gonna to show you how you could do that. So enough talk, why don't we jump into Microsoft Teams and I'll show you how to do this. All right, well here I am in Microsoft Teams. Now if you've never used Teams before or you're just trying to get started with Microsoft Teams, if you look in the description, I have a video that not only shows you how to get Teams but also how to use it. In this video, I'm assuming you already know the basics of Teams and you're simply here to create assignments and also to grade those assignments. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create a new team. You could think of this as a new class and I have a few different teams I could set up. In this case, I'm a teacher and I have students in my class and so I'm gonna go ahead and choose the class example but there are other other types of teams you could set up as well. And for this one, we're gonna do a fun example and I'm gonna have a, this is a YouTube video creation course. And I'm not gonna add a description for now, we'll just go with the name. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on next. Now what I'm gonna need to do is I need to add some students to this class. So let's go ahead, I've, I've already heard that some students have enrolled in my class. Uh, so we'll go ahead and add Emily. Uh, Adele also signed up and then I hear this guy is pretty bright but his name is Isaac Newton. So let's go ahead and add him too. And I'm gonna go ahead and add them all to my class and then let's go ahead and close this dialogue. So I now have a new team and I also have a channel general. Uh, in my other video, I cover how to add additional channels, how you can manage a, uh, a team. Uh, so watch that video if you wanna learn about those capabilities. Now here I am in the main team's general view and what I can do now is it's pretty blank in here. I can have discussion in here. But what I'm interested in is I wanna create assignments for my students and then I also wanna be able to grade those assignments. And so up here on the top toolbar, uh, what you'll see is a few different pivots and the one I'm, I'm interested in is the one called assignments. So let's go ahead and click on assignments and that'll load the assignment view. And here there are no assignments yet, but what I could do is I could create assignments, I could create quizzes, timelines, grading rubrics, and all types of things. That sounds like fun, so why don't we go ahead and get started. Within this view, it looks pretty empty right now, and what I wanna do is I wanna create an assignment, so I'll go ahead and click on this Create button, and I have a few different options within this menu. I could simply go ahead and start creating an assignment, I could also create a quiz, or I could start from existing content. Let's say I have a Word doc that exists. Uh, with quiz, what that'll do is you could create from a Microsoft form. If you don't know how to use Microsoft form, I also have a video on that in the description, but here what you could do is you could select an existing form as a quiz. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead, let's click on assignments. And so here I am in the assignment view, and I'm gonna go ahead, let's call this uh, create your first video. And here I could add instructions. And what I'm gonna do is I have a Word document with the instructions, so I'm gonna refer people to the Word document. What I can do is I could, I could add resources like a Word document. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on Add Resources, and here I could select an existing file from OneDrive. I could you know, attach a class notebook. I could put a link in, or I could even create a blank file. But what I'm gonna do is I have this existing document that's on my desktop, so I'll go ahead and why don't we upload this. So I'm gonna go to my desktop, and here's a Word document called Assignment, and it'll upload it to Teams, and it's successfully uploaded, so let's click on Done. Uh, so students won't be able to edit this, but they will be able to view it. Now what I could do is I could also add how many points this assignment is worth, and let's give it 100 points. What I could do is if I click into this add rubric, uh, what I could do is I could define how they get these different points. Uh, and so here what we see is let's click on a new rubric. If I have an existing one, I could upload one, but I'm just gonna go ahead, let's click on new rubric. And so what I could do is I could type in a title for this, a description, and then what I could do is I could have different criteria. So why don't we go ahead and I'll do this example and it'll be called your first video. And some of the requirements that I have within this video is that it has to be two minutes long. You appear in the video. You use at least two different camera angles. And so I'll put that down as the main criteria. And then I could even, if I wanna go through, I could define what is excellent, I could define what is poor, and so I could give some examples of how I come upon that grading. So trying to make it 
uh, more, more fair for all the different students. So it's a consistent grading system. And right now there are no points assigned uh, to each one of these items, but if I click on this toggle up here, I could even have each one, I could distribute the points for all of these. Um, so here it's a third, a third, a third. So I could evenly distribute the weights or I could simply go through and then say, hey, this one is worth the most and these are worth uh, less. And so all of that looks good. And so now I could go ahead and I can attach this to the assignment. So now there's a grading rubric attached to it. And I could say, I could indicate what uh, course or uh, team I want to assign it to. I could put down the due date. Uh, and I could also indicate the time that it's due. So the time during the day, here it is, 11.59. I know students are gonna scramble to get that in at the very last minute. Uh, but so there's the assignment and all of that looks uh, pretty good. It's due tomorrow, so I'm not giving people too much time. And I'm gonna go ahead now and click on assign and this will create the first assignment. Back in the main assignments view, I could see that create your first video has been assigned to my class. If I click on create, I could create another assignment, but I have one assignment out. I probably don't wanna overwhelm my students. Now, one of the things that you'll see here is if I click back into the general channel, what Teams does is it automatically creates a post uh, that says create your first video. So it lets all the students in the class know that there is now an assignment that they need to do. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump over to Emily's view so she's one of my students in my class and so here's her view of Microsoft Teams I just jumped into here and here's a team for YouTube video creation course she's gonna go ahead and click into that welcome to the course and here she'll see create your first video uh, so we're gonna go ahead and let's view the assignment and I could click in to view the assignment. So let me click into that is Emily and it says, welcome to my class on creating YouTube videos. Your first assignment is to create a basic YouTube video. And then I see some of those requirements. Okay, so I can create a video that does that. And what I'll do is as a student now, I could click on add work. And within the add work view, what I can do is I'll have a few different options. I could upload a file from OneDrive, I could create a new file, or I could insert a link. Um, I could even upload content from my device. Well, in this case, uh, it's a YouTube video. So I'm gonna go ahead and just paste in the address. And for the text display, I'll say my first video. Let's go ahead and attach this video as part of my submission. So I've done that. I could even look at the grading rubric uh, just to make sure that I'm doing everything properly and I could get the most points possible. And then I could click on turn in. Oh, look at that, a nice little animation. So every time you submit an assignment, you see different fun animations just as a way to make you feel more positive about the experience. All right, so that's Emily. Emily has submitted the assignment. She's really on top of things. I just created the assignment and she's already submitted it. So here I am back in the teacher view. And what I could do now is I'm gonna click on assignments. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna pull up my assigned view. So here, create your first video. I could see that one of three students has already turned it in. Wow, that is quick. I thought I had a pretty aggressive due date and I've already gotten one turned in. So let's go ahead and click on this one. And so what I'll do is I could see all my students. I could see who's turned it in, who hasn't turned it in. I have the ability to leave feedback. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is why don't we jump in? I'm gonna click on this and that'll bring me to the student's assignment. And here I could see a link to the video. So let's say I go through, I watch the video. I could leave feedback and say this, I could say this video was fantastic and maybe I just go through and give 100 points. What I'm gonna do now is I've given 100 points and I can now return the document to Emily. So her grade is now in. Uh, some of the other things I could do is I could jump to the next student using these toggles here. So I could go through my whole class and I could just jump through and grade all the assignments. But Emily is the only one who's turned it in so far. So I am good here and I'm gonna go ahead and close this view. And now back within the assignment view, I could see what I need to still grade and I could also see all the documents that I've already graded. And once again, I could submit quick feedback right here. Some of the other functionality that I have here, I could go back and edit the assignment if I want. However, one person's already turned it in, so probably not a good idea. I could also see the student view, so what the assignment looks like to a student. And then lastly, once I submit all the different grades, I also have the option to export that to Microsoft Excel uh, so I could view it within the format of a spreadsheet. Okay, well, this is the main assignment view. What I wanna show next is why don't we jump onto the grades pivot? I'm gonna go ahead, let's click on 
grades up here. And now what I could see is I could see all of my students within the grades view. So I have Emily, Isaac, and Adele. And then I have uh, as different rows. And then as columns across the top, I see the points assigned to each different assignment. So here's the first assignment and I could have a second, a third, a fourth. And here I have basically my grade book. And what I could do, this is where it's especially valuable, but once the semester continues on and I have a number of assignments, what I could do is I could export all of this to Excel for analysis, uh, and then I could complete the overall semester grades. All right, well that was just a quick look at how you could create assignments in Microsoft Teams, and then also how you can grade those assignments. I showed you from both a teacher's view as well as a student's view. Hopefully this helped you get started with uh, assigning out assignments to your students and also grading those assignments. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, please hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if there are any other topics that you wanna see me cover in the future, leave a comment down below and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well, that's all the content I had for you today. I hope to see you next time. Bye.